All right, hello. Uh, my name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. But enough about me. Let's get to, to today's lecture. All right, so today we're gonna be doing sensors. You know, sensors, think about it as the nervous system of the robot. You know, it's the one that feels, it's the one that sees. You know, it is it is the nervous system of the robot, you know? So this, this is actually pretty cool, you know? Um, so this might look like a lot it's not you know okay so first before i start i want to i want to explain this because you might be like okay what's in between these pointy ones and just the round ones and just like you know the normal ones that we've always been using all right so before before i get onto it i want to explain that all right so first like this one's it's kind of like like think about it like it sends back a value it's kind of like saying if like is this true then it like it returns it true or false you know? So that's pretty much all it is. However, for here, what it says light reflect intensity, it's kind of like defining it. You know? Look, like a great example would be, let's suppose I go to display. Let's suppose I go to write, you know? And I look, I could put timer right there. So what that would do, it would display the timer to the screen. Pretty cool, right? So, so that's kind of more like to be able to define things, while this one's kind of just like, Kind of like, is it true or is it false? And it returns it, you know, back to whatever you're using it. So that's all pretty much is. And then this is exactly like before our normal functions, like, hey, you know, like, is it reflecting or yes or no, you know, and it just continues on with this life. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the light sensor. You know, so this is, is reflected light intensity. And then, so this is just like the light that's being reflected back to the sensor. You guys might be wondering which is the light sensor. It's this one right here. You know, just in case you guys wanted to see it and wanted to get a more visual idea, that's what it is. This is just greater than. No, this is just equals, greater than, and less than. So those are kind of your options, and then you kind of have to mess uh, mess around with the light intensity, like 50%, 100, you know. It all depends on what you're trying to do. So you would mess around with those values just to see it. And then as well, as I mentioned before, this is kind of just like, you know, if you were using it for something, you would just define it there, you know? Like you could just go and use like one of the events, you could just use anything, you know, variable, the sensors, one of the operators, you know? Like as we've seen, you know, like you could do all of that with it, you know? So it's gonna be, it's, that's all really, it's just kind of defining, you know? It's kind of saying like, hey, I want you to use this, you know? And then, all right, so we're gonna move to calibrate, reflecting light intensity. So this is like, kind of like, like to be like, okay, how intense do you want it to be? You know, me, minimum or maximum, you know? And that's all gonna depend on it, you know? So you're gonna, you're gonna be able to choose kind of like a range, you know, from minimum to zero, from maximum to zero, from maximum to 10, you know? So you kind of just have to mess around with those values. So obviously I can't really give you guys, oh, it's always gonna be this. Because that's false, you know, it all depends on the light in the room. It all depends on, like, the even how white, what it's reflecting back to. So it all really depends, you know? So also think about it like that. Okay, so then we go to reset, reset reflecting light intensity calibration. So all this does, it just resets it back to zero, you know? So sometimes, sometimes you might be getting a value and you're like, oof, it's kind of, I don't think that's right. So what you could do is just reset it back to zero. It's going to catch the new value and then it's calibrated, you know? not that hard and then as well the color sensor so the color sensor is the same one as the reflecting one it's exactly the same one you know so it's able to see colors it's able to reflect light back so it does many really cool things so right here you wait like it wait until color is red so what this would do is essentially like the program will stop until it sees red if it never sees red it's never gonna go it's never gonna pass that line so you gotta think about it like that. So you gotta be like, okay, do I want it? Like, is it is it, is it gonna be red? Is it not? You know, like you kind of, for example, the obstacle course, you're like, okay, I want it to stop at the red line. And then if it's red, I want it to keep on going. If it's not red, I don't want it to stop. Like, I don't I don't want it to keep on going forward, I mean. So you could just do it like that. There's so much stuff that you could use it for. So it's pretty powerful. And then as well, like right here, it's kind of just checking, like for example, like, for example, so you know, we will go back to our, Control, we could say, like, if color is red, then I want it to do this. You know, 
So it's it's really it's really that's all. It's kind of it's, if it's if it is true, it's gonna return it true. If it is false, it's gonna return it false. So it's one or a zero. So as I said, those are kind of just like sending back values, returning values. If it's, is it true or is it false? And then right here, it's kind of just like defining. Like okay, I want you to use the color sensor. That's all. That's all it is. Just kind of like defining. And then right here, as well as I mentioned before, the ambient light intensity. It's exactly the same. So it's equal, greater, and less than. So we have that option. And we could also choose at what percent we want it to be at. 50, 100, 10, 1. You choose, you know? I can't exactly give you guys a proper value because it all depends on what you guys are trying to do. You know? And then, as well as I said before, just defining it, like the ambient light intensity. You know, it's just like, okay, I want you to use this. That's all it really is. Think about it. Kind of. I like to think about it kind of as defining it, kind of like a variable, like when you call like a class or you make a data type, you know? So that's how I like to think about it. And then as well, right here we have when pressed. So as well, you know, you have to choose what port is it in, you know? So when it's pressed, this, this is just a touch. When we look at it, it's exactly this one right here. Is it like, is it pressed, is it not pressed? That's all. So you have to wait. So what this would do is like, okay, wait until it's pressed. So if the button is never pressed, it's never gonna go. So this is kind of like our event. It is very similar to events. You know, so if it is pressed, then it's gonna go. If it's never pressed, it's, n it's never gonna do anything, you know? And then we move on, we go to the distance sensor. So the distance sensor, it's kind of just like, okay, is the distance greater than, less than, or equal to 15 centimeters? As well, as I mentioned before, you could also use inches. So, like, you have that option. For example, me, personally, I would use inches because that's kind of what I'm used for. Like, when I think of measurement, I kind of think of inches and feet, not really in centimeters or meters, <laughs> you know? So, it's kind of, you have that option as well. And as well, remember, make sure you have it in the right port. Because if you, you, your program is not going to work. As I said, as well as this, it just returns a true or a false statement. You know? It's like, as I said before, if this is true, then it's going to do this. If it's not true, it's not going to do anything. And then if we go to, to this one, it's just, as well as I said before, it's just defining it. It's just setting this like, hey, this is what I want you to use. Okay? That's all it, it really is. You know? It's kind of like saying, hey, use this. And then right here, we have the gyro sensor. So the gyro sensor, as I mentioned before, is kind of just like to check like, okay, like how much do you tilt, how much, you know, like the elevation kind of, you know? So you have many options, you know? It's like, so you have to wait until the angle right here, we were to look at this one, less than 45. So if the angle is less than 45, it's gonna go and it's gonna return it. It's gonna basically be true and it's gonna move on. If it's never that, it's gonna stay on the block and it's the robot just gonna pause and not do anything. You know, so when programming all of this stuff, you have to think about it like, okay, like, is this, is this always going to be true? Is it going to be, is it going to be times where it's going to be false? And if so, you, you probably are having if and else and probably having a returning value, you know, to check. And then that's exactly what this is. So this one, just like it checks what angle is it at, you know, and if, and if it's um, whatever angle you want it to be at, define it. If it's true, then it's going to. It's going to move on and it's going to keep on working. It's just going to turn it true or false. However, right here, it just defines it. Okay, I want it to be able to use the angles. And then right here, the reset angles, you know, that's all this does, just resets the angles and calls it a day, you know? So for example, we were tilted like this, instead of being now like, what, like 100 and something, now it's just going to be, it's just going to be zero. And then if you tilt 90, you know, so that's kind of, that's kind of really useful when you really think about it. So because sometimes you might be like, okay, now I want to reset and I want to go 90, you know? So it's kind of, it's kind of cool. So, and then if we move on, we got like the angular velocity, as I said before, this kind of just like defining like, Hey, I want to use this and that's it. You know, like you could do much more stuff to it, you know, but that's for the demo, you know? So you guys, gonna, if you guys want to see it in action, you guys have to wait for the demo. And then as well, this is just like for the buttons, you know? So the left, the center, the right, the up, the down, the no. As when I mean buttons, it's just all of these. 
all of these you know you these are technically also sensors you know because when you press them it's like okay is it true or is it false you know so think about it as that and then it's the same thing as the as a touch button you know when it's pressed when it's released you know it's like hey is it pressed yes then all right let's move on if it's never pressed it's never gonna move on and then it's like okay right now i'm holding it but when i release it i want it to you know do whatever and then that's pretty much it and then right here is as well again the right the no the down is button pressed and then if, if, it's, if it is it's going to return a true or a false that's it that's all it's going to do you know so it all it's literally think about it as boolean you know true or false you know like is it true is it false and then that's about it simple as that <laughs> all right and then we have the button so it's like okay i want to use the button i want to use the timer reset the timer that's all pretty much straightforward it might seem like okay it might seem like a lot of information but once you see them in action it's all gonna make sense saying that i really hope this video really helped and if you guys want to see all of this in action remember to go click on the link to go see like the live demo of me doing all of this i'm gonna be demonstrating how all of this works how the true and false works how just like defining them how everything works you know i'm gonna be like using all the sensors to be seen to be demonstrating to you guys how it works you know so we're gonna go step by step kind of just a small little demo to demonstrate you guys how these sensors work and how it's gonna keep on working you know so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you guys learned something from it and thank you for watching <laughs>